Hey YouTube, it's Paul Winner again. You may have already seen my other videos about my rooted phones such as the HTC HD2. And well, today I have just installed Eugene 373's Vibrant 8 ROM. I would like to give a shout out to Megashawn1979 for giving me a heads up on this ROM. I probably wouldn't have seen it without his help. So his uh, username is Megashawn1979 and I would like to personally thank you for giving me a heads up. So basically this is going to be a short review and let's go ahead and dive in. Alright so standard lock screen and the only modifications I have installed is JAX 1.2 gigahertz kernel. Basically it overclocks your Samsung Vibrant and allows it to run 200 megahertz faster. Uh, you will definitely notice a difference with that and I will show the numbers to prove that. So when you first boot up you'll see Launcher Plus again and TW Launcher. If, the, if you haven't seen my other videos, Launcher Plus is basically the donut look. Pretty plain in my opinion but some, some people do like the plain look and I guess he, Eugene installed it for stability purposes and I guess it's running pretty well since it has made the second cut. And you are able to customize it. You can have up to seven screens. Um, but personally I don't like it uh, it's just a little plain to me but anyways let's go ahead and dive in with the benchmark numbers I do like to use quadrant standard it's a free benchmarking tool and let's just go ahead and benchmark that and I will grab my other vibrant running the Samsung vibrant Eugene 373 vibrant 7 ROM this is his previous ROM and I will just run the full benchmark just to compare them. Okay, so they're running. And this is going to be a short review, so don't expect too much from it now. It's going to be short because there hasn't been too many modifications to the Vibrant 8 ROM. Uh, some, some, some modifications include, uh, let's see, Eugene brought back the swipe keyboard with the glass look. Uh, he brought back the live wallpapers. I, I do know a lot of people like the sw swipe keyboard. And I personally do use the swipe keyboard, so it's a good thing he did bring it back. So you don't have to install it on your own. Okay, so with the 1.2 kernel, you get a score of 1485, which is about about 200 more than the Nexus one with the uh, 2.2 Froyo on installed in it. Usually I get about 1600 but I guess uh, I probably didn't kill any tasks yet so I guess some stuff is running in the background so let's just confirm this one. Let's just compare it. Sending benchmark. Okay. With the Vibrant 7 I get a score of 954 and when with the Vibrant 8 I get a score of 1485 so that's uh, 600 no 500 score increase uh, you will definitely like that score increase so I do recommend installing the Vibrant 8 ROM over the Vibrant 7 ROM because it's a lot faster you do notice it and I didn't have to install the lag fix on it so let's go ahead and clock it back to 1 gigahertz which is stock and let's rerun the quadrant standard to show you how much the 200 megahertz makes a difference so basically install it <laughs> that's all I can really say uh, as for waiting for this, um, I'm trying to keep this review pretty short just to show you the numbers. And, and a lot of you are wondering what kind of case my other Vibrant has. Well, it's one of those T Mobile cases I bought in the store. It was about uh, $17. Best little case you can get for the Vibrant. It's not too flimsy, but it's very sturdy. And and it protects it very well. It protects the chrome part, which my invisible shield does not protect. So, even if the 
I did have a comment that said the Galaxy S phones were made, the glass is made of Gorilla Glass, which is the type the iPhone uses. Um, so it's virtually scratch proof unless you really try to scratch it. So I get a score of 1428. Mm, not too much, but according to my other previous uh, benchmarks, I had a difference of about 200. So. I guess I had a bunch of tacks running in the background. But anyways, that's uh, pretty much it. I just wanted to show you the little details about that and the scores, score differences between it. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. And stay tuned to my other videos about my other Android phones, Rooted, and have a good day.